powers of the mind take up one idea make that one idea your life think of it dream of it live on that idea let the brain muscles nerves every part of your body be full of that idea and just leave every other idea alone this is the way to success if we really want to be blessed and make others blessed we must go deeper all the great prophets saints and seers of the world what did they do in one span of life they lived the whole life of humanity traversed the whole length of time that it takes ordinary humanity to come to perfection in one life they perfect themselves they have no thought for anything else never live a moment for any other idea and thus the way is shortened for them this is what is meant by concentration intensifying the power of assimilation thus shortening the time the more this power of concentration the more knowledge is acquired because this is the one and only method of acquiring knowledge even the lowest shoe black if he gives more concentration will black shoes better the cook with concentration will cook a meal all the better in making money or in worshiping god or in doing anything the stronger the power of concentration the better will that thing be done this is the one call the one knock which opens the gates of nature and lets out floods of light how has all the knowledge in the world been gained but by the concentration of the powers of the mind the world is ready to give up its secrets if we only know how to knock how to give it the necessary blow the strength and force of the blow come through concentration there is no limit to the power of the human mind the more concentrated it is the more power is brought to bear on one point that is the secret no force can be created it can only be directed therefore we must learn to control the grand powers that are already in our hands and by will power make them spiritual instead of merely animal thus it is clearly seen that chastity is the cornerstone of all morality and of all religion free we who cannot for a moment govern our own minds nay cannot hold our minds on a subject focus it on a point to the exclusion of everything else for a moment yet we call ourselves free think of it the mind uncontrolled and unguided will drag us down down forever rend us kill us and the mind controlled and guided will save us free us the main difference between men and the animals is the difference in their power of concentration all success in any line of work is the result of this the difference in their power of concentration also constitutes the difference between man and man compare the lowest with the highest man the difference is in the degree of concentration Ninety percent of thought force is wasted by the ordinary human being, and therefore he is constantly committing blunders. The trained man or mind 
never makes a mistake what work do you expect from men of little hearts nothing in the world you must have an iron will if you would cross the ocean you must be strong enough to pierce mountains good and evil thoughts are each a potent power and they fill the universe as vibration continues so thought remains in the form of thought until translated into action for example force is latent in the man's arm until he strikes a blow when he translates it into activity we are the heirs of good and evil thought if we make ourselves pure and the instruments of good thoughts these will enter us the good soul will not be receptive to evil thoughts in the history of mankind you will find that there come the messengers and that from their very birth their mission is found and formed the whole plan is there laid down and you see them swerving not 1 inch from that because they come with a mission they come with a message when they speak each word is direct it bursts like a bombshell what is in the word unless it has the power behind what matters it what language you speak and how you arrange your language what matters it whether you speak correct grammar or with fine rhetoric what matters it whether your language is ornamental or not the question is whether or not you have anything to give it is a question of giving and taking and not listening have you anything to give that is the first question if you have then give whatever you do devote your whole mind heart and soul to it i once met a great sanyasin who cleansed his brass cooking utensils making them shine like gold with as much care and attention as he bestowed on his worship and meditation how to attain purity living this life shall we all go to the forest caves what good would it do if the mind is not under control it is no use living in a cave because the same mind will bring all disturbances there we will find 20 devils in the cave because all the devils are in the mind if the mind is under control we can have the cave anywhere wherever we are it is our own mental attitude which makes the world what it is for us our thoughts make things beautiful our thoughts make things ugly the whole world is in our own minds learn to see things in the proper light